Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to create your very own custom perk from scratch. The first thing you're going to want to do is download my custom perk template from DevRaw found in the description below. Once installed, let's get another window open of our root because we got a bunch of stuff we got to drag and drop. Let's open this up. The first thing I want to do is drag into root, open this folder and drag the model export right into your root. If you have any files, just replace them. Next, let's start at the top and work our way down. Let's open up Radiant Prefab. In our root folder, we're going to go to Map Source, Prefabs. Now, this is where you're going to want to install your prefab. So I like to keep things organized. So I have it in Logical, Perks, and I will just drag and drop it into here. The template perk struct, what we're going to do is copy and paste it now. We're going to keep all the name scheming the same except replacing template with our perk name. I already have a perk in mind for this tutorial, so I'm going to name it that. My perk is DevRaw Do. So we're going to do vending DevRaw Do underscore perk underscore struct. Make sure to remove the copy part too. Next, let's go back and we're going to open up the scripts folder. If we go back to our root, let's find our map name. So user maps, our map name, scripts, ZM, and let's drag in these three files into here. We're going to rename these all from ZM perk template to, you guessed it, ZM perk your perk name. So for me, this is ZM perk devraw do. Now let's do our sound aliases. So in our root folder, share, raw, sound, aliases. Let's drag in template perk sounds. And then once done, we're going to copy and paste and again, rename to our perk name underscore perk underscore sounds. Next, let's go back and go into our string files. Back into our root, we'll do share raw English localized strings and we're going to drag in our template perk string file. Once again, copy, paste, and rename to our perk name underscore perk. Lastly, we're going to go back and do the zone package. So in your root, share zone source, drag it in. And once in, we're going to duplicate it, rename it to our perk name. We are all good in the written raw file, but we can go ahead and close that. So now let's go step by step on what to do and how to set this all up. First, let's open up Radiant and we're going to set up our prefab. So if you don't already, now is the time to get your perk machine models, effects, icons, and jingles all set and ready to go. I do not include any of these in the template as it is up to you to get those for your own custom perk. I already have most of it set up, so let's continue and move forward so that I could show you what happens and what to do when you do have everything. So in Radiant, let's go to our prefab browser, reload if it's already open, and we're going to go to where we have our perk struct and we will drag it in. As you can see, I've given you this base vending machine model. What we're going to do is right click on our prefab and enter it. And then with our vending machine select, we will press N and our keyboard to bring up the entity info. And we're gonna change a couple things. Firstly, let's change the model to what we have. Once the model is set, we're gonna also have to set our specialty. Our perk specialty is the exact perk that the player is assigned through script. If you were to open up your perk GSA, it's you should see in our fourth one, our perk specialty name, I've included a list of all specialties. Some of these are already used, such as Specialty Deadshot, Specialty Armor Vest, Specialty Additional Primary Weapon. You're going to have to find one that isn't used and it isn't conflicting with another perk that already exists in your map. Now this is hard for custom perks because there's only a set amount that we could have. For this example though, I do know that Specialty Tracker does not exist as another perk in my map. So we're going to take this, copy it, 
and we're going to put that as the script noteworthy in Radiant. Once done, we can save and exit out of our prefab, and we're all done with Radiant. Next, let's go into Ape and set up some perk stuff. So in Ape, you're going to want to search for the GDT template underscore perk. We're going to take all of these materials, the model, and the grenade weapon. We're going to right click, copy these, and then we're going to paste this into a separate GDT. I put this in the same GDT that I have my perk machine model in. I've renamed everything from template to my perk name. I've also set up these perk bottles. Once you've renamed all your materials and models, all you have to do is go to the perk bottle and replace the textures from template to your perk name. Then you can go into each material and edit them yourself. Such as the water. I've tinted it orange to make it fit more in theme with my perk. The only thing left to do is go into the weapon file, change the display name to your perk name, and then far down the list you'll see X models. Our view gun and world gun have to then be changed to our new perk bottle. Lastly, we can also set up the icon here while we're at it, our perk shader underscore perk name. It's a 2D image, it's compressed, and it's streamable. Next, let's get into the scripting side of stuff. So in our map folder, we're going to open up our GSC and CSC of our map files. So in our GSC, we're going to scroll down to the bottom of all of our usings. It's OK if yours look different than mine. And we're going to write in our new perk scripts. So I have here using script ZM ZM perk dev raw do. Take this line here, save your GSC and paste it into your CSC as well. This is also the time to install a HUD if you haven't already. Down below will be a link to how to install the base T7 HUD that you can go ahead and edit. Once that's done, let's go to our map zone file now. And somewhere at the top where we have our other includes, we will put in include our perk name underscore perk. Next, let's actually open up this zone package and edit it. If you remember, we have put that in share zone source our perk name underscore perk. So first things first, we're going to have to do some renaming. Everything here that you see template will be our perk name. So if you just highlight template, press control H or replace, make sure to tick match case, and we're going to type in our perk name and just replace all. The only thing that might be different is this weapon file. Just make sure it's the same from what we put in here. As you can see, it's actually named different. So we're just going to copy this name and put it in there. Next, we have our two models that we could set up our on and off model. Wherever you have it in Ape, just copy the names and paste them into here. Next, our image. This is our perk shader in Ape, our perk shader devraw do. And lastly, if you have an effect made for your perk machine, you would put it in here as well. I do have one made, so I'm putting it in here. Next, let's set up our sounds. So we're gonna go to share, raw, sound, aliases, and we're gonna open up our perk, perk sounds, and we're gonna rename all of our template stuff to our perk. So make sure that the capitals stay capitals and the lowercases stay lowercases. Next, we're going to, have to put the file path and sound file of our sting and jingle. I have mine set up as such. And next, let's open up our map sound file. So user maps, map name, sound, zone config, our map name. So in here, we're going to take a bracket of our alias type, just like so. We're going to copy, go to the bottom, find the last bracket with a comma, and we're gonna paste in and rename ZM Tutorials, or our file name, whatever it is, to our perk name. So it'll be, for us, devrawdo underscore perk underscore sounds. Next, let's do the string file. This is found in our root share raw English localized strings, devrawdo perk or your perk name perk. Let's open that up. 
Again, we're going to rename template to our perk name. And then here is our actual hinge string. So we have hold activate for your custom perk. We're going to change this to our perk. It'll have our cost here and then optional. If you want to keep this or not, this is a perk description. And we're all good with that. Now we could start editing our perk scripts. So in our map folder, our scripts ZM, we're going to open up all three of our perk scripts. And we're going to start with the GSC. Scroll down a little till you see templates in capitals. And we are going to, once again, replace every instance of the capital and lowercase to our perk name. So the capitals are done. Next, let's do the lowercase. So in our GSC, all the way at the bottom, we're going to see perk logic. This is where you're going to script in all of your perk logic for anything that happens. What you want to do with your perk? This is where you would script it. This isn't a tutorial on how to do that. This is a tutorial to show you how to set everything up so that all that you have to figure out is what you want to do for your perk. Next, let's open the CSC and we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to replace all the instances of template in capital and lowercase with our perk name. Again, CSC at the bottom, we have our perk logic function. If you have anything that needs to be done client side, this is where you would do it. Lastly, let's open our GSH and once again, same thing, rename every template to your perk name, lowercase and capital. Now that we're here, this is the last thing that we have to do is edit our GSH. So these are where all the settings are for the perk pretty much. We can go one by one and let's start editing stuff. So does your level use this perk? We're going to keep this as true. Is it in the wonder fizz also as true? This is where you could change your perk cost. For now, I'll keep it at 100 points. This next line is your specialty name. It must be unique. And this is what we named our prefab script noteworthy in Radiant. So here I had mine as specialty underscore tracker. Next, this is the Lua perk icon. Now, if you've installed a HUD or used the T7 HUD that I've included with this download, this is what we're going to be using to show our perk icon, which we'll do next. Same thing for this is the client field, our HUD items .perks .dev do perk. So here is our radiant machine name, the target name created the script string. Now I have noticed actually, as I'm doing this, um, that there is a perk at the end of some of these. That's not going to be in the template. So you don't have to worry about that. Our jingle, our sting, our weapon. Oh, that perk is shouldn't be there. And this is our disabled and active model, our on and off. And then lastly, our effects. So if you have a HUD installed already, or if you're using the T7 HUD, wherever you're putting in your perk shaders for the T7 HUD, if you scroll down, it's just in your main Lua file. In your COD ZM perks factory, or wherever you're putting your perk, you just have to put in your perk name and the perk shader. So before we go into game, I just want to show you really quickly what to do if you ever want to put your custom perk into another map. If we open up another map, all we have to do is open up the scripts folder, scripts, ZM, open up the map, GSC and CSC. And in our GSC and CSC, you just have to go to the bottom of where all your usings are, paste them in. And in the map zone, all you have to do at the top of your zone file in with all your includes, you just have to put in your perk and that is it. It will be fully loaded for any map. That is all you have to do. With that being said, all that's left to do now is to compile light link and run our map. All right, now that we're in game, we could see our perk machine has loaded in. It's telling us we've got to turn the power on first. Make sure to include a power switch. And then press hold F for your dev raw do. Cost 100, you can wear a hat. Drink the bottle, get the perk icon. 
All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If I helped you at all, please do leave a like and a rating and a comment below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to catch future live streams. I'm working on stuff. Got some series in the works for tutorials, such as an Easter egg series, a boss fight series. And yeah, we're going to be doing a lot this uh, this year. So thank you all for watching. Really do appreciate it and have a good one.